Recently, I took my first ever trip to Chessington. Yes, I know, quite late to the party. I'm from the north of England, alright? It's quite far. However, at Chessington, they have a certain coaster there, which is arguably the UK's most iconic, and that is Vampire. However, what I want to talk about is something that's iconic, actually good. Vampire is located in the Wild Woods area of Chessington. Uh, it used to be called Transylvania. Um, however, it's now Wild Woods because they've got the Gruffalo. However, I don't know why a bubble factory was in Transylvania. Anyway, so when you walk in to Wild Woods, you have Vampire to your right and Gruffalo to your left. Uh, and you can see Vampire's track sort of swinging above you. No, the track doesn't swing. The trains swing. Yeah, you've got the track just above you, uh, and you walk forward, turn right through this sort of archway thing, uh, and to your left you've got what looks to be the entrance, and it's not, it's not the entrance, that's like the fast track or access, whatever it is, it's that entrance. Uh, and your main entrance to the ride is through a sort of metal thing with a small sign above you. I know, theming. It's marvellous. So you walk in to the queue line. Uh, it's sort of, it's sort of a big cattle pen, uh, but it does sort of spread off a little bit. And um, what I do quite like about the queue and the whole sort of area the vampire is in is it reminds me a bit of Fly in Taron. I know that sounds very weird, um, but it's because walking in, you cannot see the station. You've only got certain bits of track you can see. You have no idea where the trains just come from. It's, it's, it adds to the mystery of the ride. Um, and even when you're in like the queue, and near the end of the queue, you still don't know where the station is. Um, but you're walking through the queue, it goes off through the woods. Uh, and then you reach a sort of gate. Uh, and that's your sort of batching area. So when the gate opens up, you walk into the station building, which is... I think it's meant to be a castle, but it doesn't really look like a castle. It's a big wall with a staircase above you. Again, theming. But yeah, you walk in through these uh, tunnels. It's a bit sort of windy. Um, and then you turn this corner, and then you get the uh, an impressive view of an animatronic playing an organ. And I knew it had an animatronic, I just didn't know where it was. And the first time I've turned that corner, and you can see it in front of you, it's very impressive. It 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 does add to it. It's all lit up with like purple and green. I think it's green. It's lit up in some sort of colour. Uh, and yeah, the queue line sort of extends into the station. You go down a little ramp, um, and then there is the train. You step onto the train, uh, and you're dispatched on your journey to the vampire. So the ride experience itself, you start off by going up a lift, uh, doing a few windy turns, swooping through the woods, and then you reach another brake run. I meant lift, not brake run, but you do actually reach a brake run, so never mind. So you then go up another lift, which is very arrow-like. Um, you, you then drop down and go over the uh, the entrance wild woods area, swoop down for a tunnel, um, you swing out, that's where you get the most swing. On the, on the ride, and then you, you meander into the break room. It's, uh, yeah. What I do want to say though is the ride was a whole lot rougher than I thought it was. Now, rough is the wrong word, it's not rough. Jolty. It's a lot more jolty than I thought it would have been. Um, although it is an arrow, so I don't know what I was really expecting. Right, it's, it's definitely not unbearably rough or jolty, it's just it's got some sections where it, it can get a little bit painful. Um, and it sort of swings and jolts you into the side. And I feel like it should swing more. I know it, I think it did used to with the old back cars. But I can feel when it goes up a corner, the suspension thing sort of bottoms out. And uh, it feels like it should swing up more. Which I think causes the jolt a little bit because you sort of swing back and it jams you into the side. And yeah, that's really the ride on Vampire. Um, once you reach the brakes, you back into the station, you do a little turn. Um, oh, the soundtrack, I forgot about that. Very cool soundtrack. Done by Graham Smart, who did the uh, 
Nemesis one, Toyland Tours, Bubble Works. What else did he do? Uh, yeah, I do quite like the soundtrack. It does add to it. However, when I was on the ride, I just not on the ride. When I was queuing for the ride and in the station, even with the animatronic, I didn't pick up on the fact it was Vampire soundtrack. And I really like that soundtrack. I don't know what. Anyway, so yeah, the whole ride, it's a great experience. Uh, definitely a family coaster. Um, and I also wouldn't say it's the best family coaster we've got. Like, obviously, you've got 13 Wicker Man Accelerator. Soon to be Shockwave. But yeah, it's a great ride. If you've not done it, go and do it. It's it's a John Morgan classic. You've got to do it. Um, and even if you don't enjoy it, a bit like me, I didn't enjoy it, enjoy it, but I didn't. You know, it's not something I would go back to just for that. But if I ever go back to Chessington, I'm 100% doing it if it's still operating. But yes, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back to do more videos soon because I've took another break again. Uh, so expect this one, another two, and then I'll be gone for six months. <laughs> I'm joking. Maybe. But yes, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.